a huge fire broke out in Swapna Lok complex in Secunderabad. Six people have died so far, including four girls and two boys. These people were inside when the fire broke out. North Zone DCP Chandana Deepthi claimed that by the time they were taken out, they were critical and were declared dead in the hospital, adding that seven were rescued. <coughs> I'm sorry, joined by my colleague Swastika Das, who brings us all the latest on this very unfortunate incident. Swastika, what's the latest update from the authorities and what are the political parties saying about this extremely tragic incident? Well, a tragic incident indeed where six persons have lost their lives and in fact the fire broke out last evening and it was a massive blaze. Ten floors of a complete shop, uh, shopping complex gutted in fire and the persons who died, died mainly because of suffocation. Authorities believe that uh, even though a full-fledged investigation is still underway, but the preliminary cause is believed to be a short circuit which triggered the massive blaze. And since this was a shopping complex, uh, a garment uh, factory as well, uh, the fire spread rather very quickly through across the floors, making it difficult for the rescue operations rescue operations to continue at uh, at a, a faster speed which is why the authorities had to sort of wait back uh, until they could pull out people in batches. So there were about 11 to 14 people uh, stuck in that building, out of which uh, uh, six persons could not survive, uh, and the rest of them have now been taken to the hospital for a regular medical checkup. But certainly one thing that has been uh, highlighted is the fact that there have been multiple fire incidents in the last couple of months alone. Remember, there was another factory near um, um, Deccan Sportswear Company, which was also gutted in fire, where two persons died. Uh, this happened near a hospital. So that particular factory did not have uh, clearance from the authorities. So there are multiple cases like this which have come to light, three majorly from Sikindrabad itself. The state government, in fact, had constituted a panel to look into the fire checks and to look to thoroughly look into the clearances that have been given to them, whether there are any violations or not. Swastika, was that building fire compliant and were there safety measures in that building? I think that's going to be a big question that's going to come out, especially when it comes to these multi-storied complexes. Well, what we have learned so far is that this particular shopping complex did not have adequate fire safety measures because uh, one of the reasons is that the, uh, uh, the floors and the staircases were not wide enough. They were not in compliance with uh, the fire guidelines, not just that. Um, uh, the cylinders were also not placed uh, on different floors. This is what we have picked up as of now. So certainly there were violations. Uh, as of now, we do not know if they, if they had any violation in terms of uh, the notice, whether they, whether they had a clearance from the fire department or not. But certainly, one thing we can ascertain is the fact that the building was not constructed uh, on, on the basis of uh, how a fire-proof uh, building should be. Um, and that is the reason why the blaze spread through the building rather very quickly to the 10th-floor building, uh, and uh, which also led to the fire operator, fire uh, 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 in, engine operators to to sort of hold back on their rescue operation because the fire spread very quickly and it was difficult for them to retrieve people from inside that building. Thank you so much, Swastika, for keeping a keen eye on all that emerging from there. We'll keep tracking that, but shifting our attention.